Hi there! Today we are going to check funny puzzle platformer called Life Goes On, Done to Death. Well, the name sounds funny, doesn't it? Will you be dying a lot here? Is it entertaining or rather frustrating? Okay, so let's find out together if this game offers more than just amusing night. Let's talk about the story first. Wait a minute, what? I would not dare to say that this game has any story. And even if it's there, I do not think that I would like to know it, as it would be probably pretty morbid. Here we are getting to the main concept of the game. game is based on dying. You will most likely see more deaths than in most of the B action movies. You will see your character impaled, shredded, burned, electrified or blasted out of huge cannon. But do not worry, you are not going to play a simulator of some twisted minded suicide or candidate for Darwin Prize. You will be killing your character intentionally to get through the level. Wait, what? I admit that it doesn't sound too logical, so here are some examples. Let's say that there is a long row of spikes ahead of you that you are not able to jump over even if you would be a world champion in a long jump. The solution? You will simply jump somewhere to the middle of spike row and die. Then you will simply hit jump button which will summon the clone of your first character. This one can use the impelled corpse of his predecessor to jump on and successfully get to the ground by the next jump. After the next few steps, you find a trap door that can stay open only if someone is staying on the near switch. Yes, but how can you go through the door? Well, you need to stay on the switch to keep them open. Aha! There is a circle of soy above your head. So just jump and... Yeah, close your eyes, this is going to hurt. Once the corpse has helplessly fallen down onto the switch, the way for the next incarnation is clear. Or later in the game you will find big cannons that you need your character voluntarily get into and act as a human projectile that needs to be fired at the right angle to the land on the moon. Yeah, sorry, that was a different story. To land somewhere where he can somehow release the way for his success. As you proceed through the game, you will need to combine many ways how to die at the right places and you will find yourself actively looking for them. Kind of original idea considering that in most of the games you are actually trying to find ways how to avoid the dangerous places. This is a really refreshing concept. Let's find out if it's not ruined by the other parts of the game. The important essence of each platform is the control responsibility. Here the control is very simple. You just need directional keys and jump key. That's it. Also the game is not punishing and does not require to be 100% precise when jumping, so you will never have the bad feeling that your character in the game is not fully under your control. I was playing on Xbox controller, but I guess that it might be played on keyboard without serious issues as well. Another positive aspect of the game. So what else have we got here? The graphics is, well, I would say functional. Nothing that you would be too excited, but it's not something that would hurt your eyes. There are not many special effects, high-res textures or some fancy 4K resolution, 
But I would say that it's sufficient for this kind of game. And the advantage is that it can be played even on computers that are primarily used for home accounting or something similar. Despite the quite unpleasant sound of circle saw, when you run into it of course, the sounds as a whole are average and you will hardly notice them. The music is a mixture of dual tracks with very distinctive medieval-like tones that are nice to listen. However, I cannot help myself but somehow they do not fit to the game. So both sounds and music are in average zone. How about the accessibility of the game? Won't it bring too much frustration to your home? probably see life goes on is not the easiest game, but on the other hand your controller or keyboard are safe this time. In most of the levels you will think up soon the way how to get to the cup of life. Yeah, that's how the trophy after is actually called. But sometimes you will have a challenge to perform the desired action. I have mentioned that the game usually does not require surgical precision in your actions, but in certain levels you will spend some time by trying to find the right angle then you need to jump on circle saw to let your corpse fall down on the switch, opening the trap door staying in your way to the cap. Or to find the exact spot where you leave your corpse so your next footman is able to reach it, the high spot, by jumping on what used to be a hand. As the levels are small, and there is usually at least one checkpoint in them, you will never suffer too much. Soon you will not be satisfied with simple finishing the level at all costs, but you start chasing efforts for solving levels with the least number of deaths and completing levels in record time. Time goes by, so let's get to the final verdict. We have challenging but not frustrating game here. Good level design, responsive control, original idea of dying on purpose, average graphics and sounds, and solid music. Is it suitable game for gaming fathers and their families? Well, let me put it this way. For gaming fathers, yes, as the short levels and challenging difficulty is exactly something that you can use for short, but intensive experience after the harder. As for the families, I would be more cautious here, as the game is still based on dying, and also its difficulty level disqualifies preschool kids, but I would say it's okay for 10 plus years old. As this game has much more pros than cons, and also has original idea plus it doesn't hurt your wallet too much, as you can get it for about 2 euros when discounted, I'm giving it thumbs up. And... I'm giving it Gaming Fire's Index 8 out of 10 this time. So thank you for watching, please let me know if you liked my Life Goes On review, and if so, I would be glad if you subscribe to my channel. See you next time!